Right, good morning and uh, thank you very much for joining me again today, 30 September 2019. And today I want to continue with the discussion on the rituals that were supposed to have been performed in 1980 by Robert Mugabe, but which were not performed. So I want to go into the two staffs of Chaminoka. These, these staffs have got magical powers. I think they can be walking sticks. I don't know what they look like. But I was told a story and I want to explain to you how Robert Mugabe desperately looked for these two staffs because they had magical powers and they were able to give someone the ability to rule Zimbabwe. So these two staffs, somehow, they are going to play a big part in the handover of power from Robert Mugabe to the next president. If Idim Nangagwa did not get these two staffs, it has significance, it has got traditional significance on whether he's able to rule Zimbabwe successfully or not, or whether his presidency is going to be short-lived. So let me explain to you the story the way it was told to me. So around 1971, Joshua Nkomo and Dabani Stole, they were the leaders of Zapu and Zanu. So uh, maybe the deaths could not be correct, but that was the period. So Dabani Stole went to a place called Matojeni and he was given a staff. And one of those staffs, it's rumored that this was one of uh, the, the staffs of Chaminuka with uh, mystical powers. This would enable the freedom fighters to fight the, the Rhodesian government, which was more equipped with, without weapons. Basically, they, they needed these mystical powers from the spirit mediums. So he was given that stuff. And he was told that if you use this stuff, after the war, when you win, you must bring it back. Same time, Joshua Ngomo also went to the same spirit mediums at Matrogeni and he was given another staff and he was told that if you win the war, you must bring back this staff. So now there were two staffs, one which was being held by Ndabaning Stole and another one which was being held by Joshua Ngomo. At that point, Robert Mugabe was not the president of ZANU-PF, he was not the the leader of ZANU-PF. So the, the, the staffs, what they were supposed to do was to allow the leadership of ZANU-PF to get strategic direction, to basically be safe, to protect them, to show them direction, and to enable them to be led by the spirits to win the war. And after the war ended, Mugabe in 1980, he became the de facto leader, he was better spoken, he got rid of all the other guys like Ndabaning Stone. And beyond to Ndabaning Stone, Robert Mugabe got this information that there was this stuff that was being used as a guide, as a protection, and this stuff would give you mystical powers. So Mugabe started to look for this stuff. So the, he knew about the two, he started to look for this stuff. But lucky for Dabaning Stole, Dabaning Stole had already taken back the staff to Matojeni. And so Mugabe started to raid, he was now the president in Zimbabwe, he started to raid uh, the farm of Dabaning Stole in Harare. I'm, I'm not sure what the farm was called. I think it was Churu Farm. He started to, to raid those farms, looking for this stuff. So he would frequently raid those places looking for the staff. Joshua Nkomo, on the other hand, had not returned his staff. So Mugabe devised a plan to get the staff. And he sent soldiers to Nkomo's house one morning. And Nkomo was sitting in the house, not knowing that his house had been surrounded by Mugabe's soldiers. But for some reason, because of his mystical powers of this staff, the soldiers were not able to enter 
the house. They were just standing there. The guy said they stood there from 6 o'clock in the morning up to 10 a.m. So it was like four hours or whatever, two hours of standing there without being, without being able to get into the house. Then a friend of Nkomo's, who was an old man, passed and saw the soldiers. But Nkomo had not looked outside the, the whole time. He'd been sitting in his house. So the old man, who was, who was a friend of Nkomo's, entered the house and told him, do you know that there are soldiers who have surrounded your house? And that is the time when Nkomo looked outside and realized that there were state security and soldiers standing outside. Then he dressed up like a woman and disappeared. So he went out through a back gate, which went through his neighbor's yard and went out dressed as a woman. So these two staffs, Ngomo staffs and Dabani Stole staffs. Mugabe then thought, well, since I can't find them, they are with the spirit mediums at Matojen. And during Gukrahundi, Mugabe sent soldiers to Matojeni who killed the people who were protecting the shrine there at Matojeni. The shrine at Matojeni was being protected by older women who had passed childbearing age and young ladies, young, I can say young girls around 11 and below who were sort of like protecting that shrine. The soldiers came in there and the excuse that they used to kill those people who were at Matujeni was that they were giving mystical powers to the dissidents. So remember, this is the story that I was told. So I'm giving you the story the way I was told it. Matujeni was a very important shrine. Being the center of all rainmaking activities in Zimbabwe. So every year, rainmakers from all over Zimbabwe would walk, let's say the ones that are coming from deep in Mashona land, Manika land, Mashingo, all these areas. These rainmakers or whoever was to participate, to participate in that function would walk for months so that on a certain day or approximately at a certain time they would arrive at Matojeni and once the ritual was done the rain making ritual was done when they walked back there would be so much rain that they would be unable to cross the rivers this is how this guy explained this thing to me now the question is when Mugabe raided the shrine at Matujeni. Did he get the two staffs of Chaminuka? If he got the two staffs of Chaminuka, did he use these staffs to enhance his powers, to stay in power for as long as possible? And who else is looking for these staffs? I'm also reminding you of the question that I asked yesterday that did Mugabe anoint Savior Kasukwere? and hand over the two staffs of Chaminuka to him. Then as another point, I would like to, to say that the behavior that Mugabe did of killing the, the, the people who were protecting the, the shrine angered the spirits of the country. And so we have a lot of problems since that time. Zimbabwe has been having a lot of problems. And I'm explaining this to you in a traditional way. But if you kill those people that are protecting a sacred shrine, you obviously anger the community, you anger the, the, the spirits that are there in that area. So, Dumiso Dawengo, I think he heard this story. And if you remember, a year or so ago, Dumiso Dawengo tried to do sort of like a ritual. To, to solve these problems he, he tried to do a ritual and then Mugabe or Mnangagwa's police went and stopped him I think this was after the coup he stopped Dabengo was stopped from doing this ritual 
So they're obviously unsolved problems within the areas of the shrine at Matojeni. And I know that there are people who know this story better than myself, who know what has happened there at Matojeni, who will be able to explain to us in detail and who will be able to give us flesh on this story. But the important point that I wanted to make today is that there are two staffs of Chaminuka that are playing a key part which important political players in Zimbabwe, they know about them, they are looking for them. Our political players are deep into rituals. They, they understand the significance of what gives one power to rule Zimbabwe, who are the owners of our country, and what does it take to take power. And I also wanted to say Cham Chamisa is the most popular person in Zimbabwe, the most popular opposition politician in Zimbabwe. It's significant for him to understand this, to know how this works. Because, obviously, you, you cannot rule Zimbabwe without understanding how this worked. How these people were able to use their spirit mediums to go to war and fight. So it's real. The, the, the place where we are now in Zimbabwe is real. Because the spirit mediums play a key part in the war of liberation. So whenever you're talking about ruling Zimbabwe and addressing the problems that are there in Zimbabwe, you still have to go back and correct the mistakes that were done. There are certain ceremonies that still need to be done in areas like Matojeni and the five rituals, the six rituals that I talked about, which were spoken about by Nehanda. And so this is important. Whoever takes over in Zimbabwe needs to take over also the, the staffs, the, the clothes from our previous generation because there are two parts there's a traditional part to Zimbabwe there is the modern part but you cannot reject one over the other right so the important question is did Mugabe finally find those two staffs and are the rituals that needs to be performed to appease the, the, the spirits there at Matojeni after the, the spirit mediums were killed, who is going to be able to do those? Who are the people who are in charge of those rituals? Right, so tomorrow I'll be back. I'll talk more about the case that was placed on Zimbabwe, the 160 year case that was placed on Zimbabwe. And then this afternoon I want to come back and to talk about Nelson Chamisa. He had a very bad weekend. We want to go into it. What did Chamisa do wrong this weekend? Who is causing the problems for Chamisa? Right, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and share on this post. Like our Facebook page and subscribe to the Gambako Media YouTube channel.